Hi everyone and welcome to the Innovate Kitchen. So you're here for the first one of our um, Christmas video vlogs. So over the next few weeks I'm going to be showing you some really simple, straightforward alternatives to uh, Christmas meals. So we're going to do a starter today, then we're going to do a main course and a dessert. Christmas isn't meant to be stressful, they're all very simple. So today we're going to be looking at a mackerel pate using Prince's tin mackerels. Uh, and that's going with a rhubarb chutney. So it could not be any more straightforward. All of these ingredients are going to go straight into this blender. So we have a tinned mackerel, obviously. Any tinned mackerel will be absolutely fine. It doesn't matter if it's in brine or if it's in oil. Uh, just obviously not the sourced ones. Uh, so I'm going to put in some salt and butter. Here we've got some creme fraiche, some horseradish, and some Dijon mustard. And this will just lighten it up. Don't worry if you don't like horseradish or if you don't like mustard. It's not a strong flavour of the dish, it's just a really nice back note. It gives it a savoury flavour. Uh, so for freshness, we're going to squeeze in half a lemon. Careful for pips. And then finally, some salt and pepper. On with the lid, apologies for the noise. Now this just wants to be blended up until it's really, really smooth um, and it'll set up in the fridge nicely as a sliceable pate. There we go, that will be our mackerel pate. Uh, just for other options while you're plating up, what I have done, um, which you'll see later on in the video, I have um, lined this muffin tin with some cling film and then I've filled the mackerel mousse into it and pushed it really hard into there and then put the cling film over the top. Now this has gone in the fridge overnight and as you'll see later, they'll just pop up and they'll be in a moulded shape, ready to go. So next for the pate, we're going to do the chutney. So first in goes some onions with a bit of rapeseed oil. We just want these to sweat off nicely, we don't want any colour on them, we just want them to soften. So once the onions have softened, uh, we just want to put our spice mix in. So here we've got we've got some ginger, we've got some salt and pepper, we've got some cardamom and some cinnamon. So the cardamom and the cinnamon are just going to have some really nice fragrance through the dish. That all goes in there, give it a good old stir around. And it just wants to be cooked for literally 30 seconds just to activate the spices and just to get the flavours going through the onions. Next, add in some soft brown sugar. So this is obviously going to bring sweetness, uh, it's going to bring colour, it's going to bring caramelisation to the chutney, which is vital. So now our sugar has got really nice and caramelised, it's all melted, um, and the onions are really nice and soft. Uh, we're going to add a full tin of rhubarb that has been drained. Now the rhubarb and mackerel is a marriage made in heaven. It works absolutely perfectly. The mackerel uh, is really savoury, salty, and then the rhubarb brings some really nice acidity to the dish, Com uh, completes it really well. So the final thing we're going to add to this chutney is some cider vinegar, which just brings sharpness. Now, this needs to reduce down for about 20 minutes. So here's our finished uh, mackerel pate plated up and ready to go. So we've got our mackerel pate, a quenelle of the chutney which has reduced down nicely and been put in the kilner jar. And then uh, to serve we've just created some really thin crispy ciabatta uh, and poppy seed thins.